Spring, Texas. Today I'm doing some jambalaya. This is something I've actually never done before. I'm shocked I've never done it before, but I was watching a food show the other night and some restaurant in Nashville was making jambalaya. It looked awesome, so I started looking up some recipes. I found one from the Food Network from Emerald. I always like Emerald's recipes, so I'm giving it a shot. Um, I went ahead and just cut up two tomatoes. You've seen all the other ingredients as I've been going along. Got my chicken here. I use chicken thighs, and I've got three quarter pounds of medium sized shrimp from the store, from my local HEB, and I'm just going to dump those right on in with the chicken. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of this Creole spice. It's actually essence of emerald. I left out the cayenne kids don't like the spicy cayenne. And I'm going to go ahead and just toss this together real good. It's all nice and blended up. Okay, so I'm about ready to get started here. I took all my ingredients outside. I've got my olive oil, a couple tomatoes chopped up with my bay leaves from my bay leaf tree out back. Got the chicken, shrimp, some Worcestershire sauce, about three quarters of a cup of white rice, the chicken stock, garlic, onions, bell pepper, and celery, and some andouille sausage. And I went ahead and put my crawfish cooker right up on top of my Weber as a nice stand for me to work on. All right, just lit it up. Put my damper over the flame to distribute the flame over the pot. I do want a high heat. That may be a little too high. Turn it down a little bit. That should work. And I just put my pan on top. It's a paella pan that my mother gave to me years ago. I'm finally going to break it in. And I'll put on a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Let that get going. The olive oil's just coming to a shimmer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with my pepper, onion, and celery. That's gonna go for a few minutes. It's been three or four minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes and the bay leaves. Also going to add the garlic. And about a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Alright, so far so good. My goodness is this smelling unbelievable. At this point, you're supposed to add about a teaspoon or two of your favorite hot sauce, but with the kids, I'm not going to add it. I'll figure I'll just add it to taste to each individual plate when serving. It's only been a minute. I'm going to go ahead and add the rice. Give it a stir. Uh, 
and I'm going to add the three cups of chicken broth. Obviously give that a good stir. And I reduce the heat to medium. I'm going to stir it occasionally. I'm going to let this go about 15 minutes until all of the liquid is absorbed. Mm-hmm. I'd say we're about 8 to 10 minutes in and it's looking like it's getting pretty happy here. The rice is starting to absorb, absorb a lot of the liquids. Alright, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put in my shrimp and chicken. My andouille sausage. Alright, just blend it in real good, stir it up. I'm going to let this go for about 10 minutes. That should be it. it. Looks good. So far, so good. Along the way, I've discovered that this flat wooden spatula really works well while cooking jambalaya. It's been about 10 minutes. I thought the rice needed a little more time. It was drying out, so I just poured in a splash of some bass ale that I was drinking. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes, and uh, it should be done. Alright, I actually ended up leaving it on for about 15 minutes. I'm glad that I had that bass ale out here. The extra moisture definitely helped and it did nothing but enhance the flavor. Ooh, man oh man, does that look good. I went ahead and took it off the grill. Um, we're going to go ahead and sit down and eat.